What's going on YouTube? My name is Yasmin.l and I have a story to tell. <laughs> Okay, so if you are familiar with RuPaul's Drag Race and drag queen Tanisha Iman, then you probably have an idea of what this story might be about and what has been going on for the last week, I would say, at this point, a week. As you can see from the title, Tanisha Iman came for me. <laughs> so, um... Disclaimer really quickly, I may add some stuff in here um, as far as receipts I may have and anything of that sort, um, but if there's any content that's added um, that is not personally mine, I do not own the rights to that content. I'm going to put everything that I feel like I need to put. My bad, somebody just drove past my window. <laughs> I'm going to put whatever I feel like I need to put into this video into the video. Um, so I'm actually going to start from the beginning of all of this to lead up to where we are at this point. Uh, so that will give an overall good analysis of what all has transpired. Um, one thing I want to address really quickly is that I, I in fact was a Tanisha Iman fan. I went into all of this and I will show that later as the video continues defending Tanisha Iman, having their back, and just really trying to get people to see the person that I thought this person was. Um, I still do not wish anything bad on this queen. I am not here to bash this queen, and I am also not here to sway anybody's opinion about this queen. I am simply stating my viewpoint and my experience if you choose to continue to support them that is completely your prerogative go ahead and support her because she's going to need it so with that being said let's start from last week um where it all where it all started from so if you all remember last week tanisha went live and discussed monet and bob's sibling rivalry episode eh. sibling rivalry episode um where somebody had sent her the clip of Monet discussing one of her looks or something like, like that and she was visibly upset in the video and decided to say that on next Tuesday which was this past Tuesday that she would be reading Monet the way I am going to read your ass on Tuesday so I was still a fan at this time and there was a lot of people that were like, oh my goodness, what is your point of doing this? Like, you're dragging it, stuff like that. So I was one of the people that was like, no, Tanisha is entitled to how she feels. And if that's how she feels, you can't tell a queen how they should feel about what somebody else has said. I'm going to pull up some of the tweets that I have in regards to this situation, and I'll probably pop it on the screen somewhere so that we okay so there was one tweet that i decided to actually comment on and this person basically said that they do love tanisha and they want to be a fan but basically coming from monet was immature from an icon that has been around before google so i responded back and i said so she can't have feelings i would get annoyed too if someone this most iconic look is one of the worst in Drag Race history was constantly shading me because they won a crown. Let's be real, Monet is not in the same lane as most of the other winners. Now, what the hell did you just say? Let me, let me put a disclaimer real quick because even when I was showing people this tweet, people were like, well, no, nah, don't come for Monet. I like Monet. Um, first of all, I'm black, so I support any of the queens that are black. I'm rooting for um, everybody black. But also can have an opinion. And in my opinion, I would not want to take advice from Monet when I don't feel like Monet's fashions are up there with other queens. So I understand it's a review, but that's where I saw that Tamisha was coming from because that's literally what she said, and I agree. All of her looks are just not always there. And I said what I said. <laughs> so someone else ended up, oh yeah, so that's what I told somebody. They were like, um, 
they asked me how I was Monet not up there with other winners and I explained just that I'm talking about fashion I don't feel like Monet's fashions are at the same level as other people's um and that was in regards to her judgment of other people's looks um and so somebody just said this is your opinion um when you win Drag Race it'll be worth something well I'm, I'm not going on Drag Race I'm not a drag queen <laughs> so um Tamisha didn't get far so her opinion on drag to win the show isn't worth as much as Monet's I didn't agree with that statement um because even if you didn't win RuPaul's Drag Race, if you understand the community, which I've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race since the first season. I was probably like seven or something like that. But as I got older, I have looked into the ballroom culture and drag culture as a whole. So I understand that RuPaul's Drag Race is not the end-all be-all of drag. So that statement right there was false to me in itself because just because Monet won the show or any of the other queens won the show does not mean that what they say is necessarily right in comparison to somebody who did not get far nor win. So that's completely false to me. Um, and I've just said that your opinion that Tamisha isn't worth as much as Monet's is your opinion and I said what I said. Um, I wanna insert myself real quick and say also, I've been saying I said what I said that was said by Nini so in case anybody tries to like point that out I said what I said and it ain't changing <laughs> um, she said that's not opinion that's fact that's not fact Monet's opinion is just that an opinion the same as Tamisha's and the same as all of us speaking about it and that just is what it is um so keep in mind this tweet was made the day that Tamisha went live after that, the other rest of these tweets were leading up to the day of the actual live. I have tweets here where I say that not y'all calling Tamisha a bully for doing stuff drag queens do all the time. One minute this ain't RuPaul's best friend race, the next they all gotta hold hands and walk in nature. Like, because it just wasn't making sense that people were calling Tamisha a bully for just standing her ground and basically saying she was gonna read Monet and other queens that wanted to read her. I feel like that was fair game. Like, you got on your platform and I feel like you read me, so I'm gonna read you. I didn't really even see it as serious as what it actually got to. So next we have the live that actually comes. Um, so the live starts, I watch it on YouTube. I was on Instagram Live as well watching, um, but it was lagging there. And so I ended up making a tweet because I pulled it up on YouTube and tweeted out and said, if you want to watch the Tamisha Mind Live, go on YouTube, there's no lag. At this point in time, I also want to make it known that y'all can see on this tweet, there's no retweet, there's no like, there's no comment, there's nothing. My Twitter at that point, I probably had like a hundred followers, maybe, maybe less than that. And most of those followers were people I know from school, um, like high school and college. They don't watch Drag Race. They don't watch the, most of the shows that I watch and tweet about. I rarely use my Twitter, my Twitter, but to talk about Drag Race, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, stuff like that. The stuff that I like to watch, Tyler Perry shows. You know, that's what I get on there to do is to tweet with the people and use the hashtags and talk to people who are watching the same thing. If you watch that live, then you know that in that live, nothing that we were supposed to have gotten was gave in that live. Um, she did not read Monet, she did not do any of that, but I still gave the benefit of the doubt because even somebody on that thread from before was like, look at how she just disappointed you. And I even still stated, I'm not disappointed in anything because I still stand by what I said, which was that I feel like she's entitled to her opinion and can say what she wants to say in regards to somebody judging and critiquing what she brought to the show. And that won't change. Like. Even with everything that's happened, that still will remain the same. If you want to speak on it, speak on it. Um, so the live did not give anything in regards to reading Monet or anybody else. What ended up happening in that live is what from what I saw was that World of Wonder caught wind and said, Oh no, you, you're not you're not gonna do that. That's what we're not gonna do. I even made a tweet saying that Tamisha Mom must have got a cease and desist because that's exactly what it was given. It was given, I cannot speak on anything publicly on these platforms. 
And so with that, she followed up by stating that she would be starting her Tamisha Iman network. Now, if you were already a fan of Tamisha before any of this, like after, after she left the show and stuff like that, you know the Tamisha Iman network was already something she was working on because you saw that from the virtual drag battle she did. I watched every single episode of the virtual drag battle. I even wanted to join, but I was too late in um, signing up for it because I think they ended up taking off a week of the drag battle. Um, so I was locked in on that. So I remember all of the glitches and that. I remember still sitting there watching those streams because it was authentic, it was fun, it was engaging, and it was just a good time to see a bunch of different people coming and being able to perform with a drag queen that they admired from RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, so we already knew about her having her network because she told us on the finale of her drag battle that she would no longer be doing it on YouTube and StreamYard because of the glitches and the problems and she just wanted to have it on her own platform. So I was not surprised when that statement was made. Now what I will say that I was a little su surprised about was the pricing. She told us that for a, I don't wanna be incorrect um, and I might insert something here if I say the wrong thing, but I do believe that in the initial statements, she said that it would be $25.99 a month for a full membership to get access to all the lives and everything Tamisha Iman, basically. And then there was also, this is where I know it's facts. I just know it's facts. And even if I can't find the receipts where she says this, they're all on YouTube, you can go find it. Um, but she stated that there will also be a $15.99 membership, one-time membership, where you can just watch the live where she actually decides to read Monet you can re you can watch that for fifteen ninety nine. So there was two different tiers, so to speak, that you could sign up for when her website went live. I was like, okay, you know what? I really like this queen. Maybe I will at least get the fifteen ninety nine subscription, so I can at least see it because I want to keep. I want to laugh. I want to have a good kiki and hear whatever reads she's gonna bring. I, I really did. I wanted to laugh, so. I was waiting for that um, and expecting for that to happen. So we moved forward with that. Um, that was Tuesday, Tamisha Tuesday. It was like an iconic moment on Twitter. Like everybody was tweeting about it. You, a good or bad people were tweeting about it. Like you, you could not go on Drag Race Twitter and probably Reddit too and not see something about Tamisha Iman Tuesday. So she told us that Wednesday night, um, oh yeah, she also told us she was not going live on Instagram anymore too. So that was another reason why I was like, okay, let me uh, let me go ahead and subscribe because I want to see when, when she goes live, see what she's talking about and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and possibly subscribe. So she told us Wednesday night, she'll go live and we'll get that content that we've been waiting for. We just got to pay the subscription fee. So cool. That happens, Wednesday comes. All day, I'm like, am I gonna pay that much for it? Or am I gonna wait? So I think I get home from work and I've been looking on Twitter, seeing what people have to say, um, reading if anybody has subscribed and things like that. And so it was supposed to start 8.05 Eastern, which was 7.05 my time. Well, at this point in the day, um, there have been other things that have transpired. I'm not going to get into Bob and the Vixen and stuff like that because um, this isn't what this video is about. Um, there was apparently another live sent to Tamisha in regards to things that Candy had said about Tamisha and what had happened with she and Monet. And so, first of all, this should have been like red flag number one because you said that you weren't going live on Instagram anymore, but you did. At that point, I should have probably just pumped the brakes in the first place and been like, let's really see what's gonna happen before I spend my money because Tamisha's going live again on Instagram anyway. So who's to say that we might just get this all on Instagram? But that wasn't my thought process at the time. 
So um, she went live with Candy and ended up telling Candy, well, telling people to go tell Candy that she wanted Candy to come on her network so they could talk. The energy that was gave in that video was not a let's come to Jesus moment. It wasn't. So, and that wasn't the energy of any of the lives. Not saying that the energy was to fight and bicker, but the energy was to really address the elephants in the room. And that's what people were expecting. When she addressed Candy in a way that it was like, you know what? I'm tired of this back and forth. Let's really get into it. We ain't got to fight each other. But we're going to definitely talk about what needs to be discussed. So at that point, it's like, okay. If you watch the reunion, you know, like, we was wanting that moment to happen. Like, we wanted to see them actually discuss everything that has transpired. And for me, I felt like even um, in regards to the reunion that we got, I feel like there was an edit going on where every time Candy was brought up, they had to pan to Tanisha and put a spotlight on it like Tanisha was basically hating. And then it's like the same thing with Candy. Like you would see a, a clip of Candy saying something that looked like they were hating. And so, you know, these are we are all people. So people don't have their feelings and it's okay to be upset and wanna wanna discuss that. Like I don't see a problem with that. Time is ticking, it's getting closer. I have not subscribed yet, but I'm like I really want to see this like this is something that I wanted to see and RuPaul didn't even give it to me so if I can get it from Tanisha I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe so what did I do I subscribed now I might have a, a, a screenshot of when I tweeted about the subscription with other people trying to figure out the 1599 subscription but that was never available when you go on the website the only tier that is available is the 25.99 uh tier you could not get in for 1599 as she stated in her video so even then i'm like you know i don't know when discernment is a is a thing that i truly believe in because there were signs telling me Yaz, just just wait you know there was really a lot of signs telling me just wait on it because when i saw that there, that that option was not there i should have just been like okay you know what let me just let me just fall back on this situation and see what happens but i didn't i went ahead and i made a tweet and i was like you know what i'm gonna take one for the team and i'm just get the subscription because people they didn't want to pay for it a lot of people just didn't want to pay for it and i understand that like especially when you have other subscriptions on top of the fact if people aren't paying to get world of wonder or whatever is it paramount whatever um app you can watch all the drag race franchises on if they're not paying to get that they're not gonna pay to get this but i went ahead and did it i was like you know what i support tanisha iman i like tanisha iman i'm gonna do it sidebar other red flags that I should have paid attention to were the fact that people were already saying like they had not received merch so why would they pay for something else when they haven't received their merch I don't know all of that behind that but that is allegedly what is happening with people um they have not received the merchandise from uh Tamisha's store that they have already paid for and it's been several months for some of those people and I feel like I should have taken heed to those statements in itself. Not to say that um, it's a scam, but just to say that there are things that are put in place with this person that there is inconsistencies when it comes to money being involved. And so with that, you have to kind of be smart about how you play with your money because even if it's, even if it's not their fault, you still could be put in a situation where you lose your money because of problems that somebody else is having on their networks and their platforms. I'm just the type of person where I typically won't participate in actively putting my money into something that isn't up to par. But I knew, I saw the struggles that came along with producing the virtual drag battle 
I was there for it. I sat through it. I watched through it. So I was like, you know, giving the benefit benefit of the doubt and just like, I'm going to go ahead and just buy it. So I did. So I bought it and I bought it literally probably like five minutes before it was supposed to start. So when you do that, you're expecting to get right on in there and see the content you came for. But it wasn't it wasn't there. The content was not available. So I'm on Twitter as I was and I get a comment underneath uh and somebody a couple people asked they were like can I get your login and stuff like that so I'm like I don't want to get my login out but let me let me go back real quick to the subscription and me getting it I got the subscription on the website I really just paid my money and just went about my day I didn't read um everything that was on there so I didn't go through and look at everything, but there were some things that I should have paid more attention to. Um, one would be the disclaimer or whatever it may be about uh, sharing content or whatever. Um, I did not see that when I initially signed up because I did not see the disclaimer about that part. So I will take um, full responsibility for not necessarily reading everything like I should have. Because a lot of this stuff I should have just read more into. And I'm taking full responsibility of that within itself. But um, what I will say is that um, one thing that was there that I did notice. It said when you first did it, it was like $25.99 for three months. It did not say per month. It did not say $25.99 each month. It said $25.99 for three months. I'm a person who... I subscribe to a lot of things. I have everything. I have Netflix. I have Hulu. I have BET Plus. I have, I have it all. So I read about the terms of how long my subscriptions are. And um, when I even read it, I see those pieces where they tell me like if a free child is going to expire or when my next billing will be and stuff like that often because I have a bunch of different subscriptions. So when I saw that and I also I saw a tweet that I thought reinforced my thought process. To me, I expected that I signed up for something for $25.99 and that would break down into, I think it was like $8, about $8 for three months. That is what the thought process behind even subscribing was. But I later found out that that was not the case. So I just wanted to put that part in there. Um, so, Somebody commented and was like, hey, uh, can I get your link? And I was like, I don't want to do the link. But, you know, maybe I can do like a little Zoom because I don't have that many followers on Twitter. My stuff isn't like taking off like that for people to just be like. Sorry, I got a text. Um, I don't have, a, I mean, every now and then I might get a tweet that will like, you know, do some numbers. But it's not often. So I wasn't expecting for barely anybody to come and watch my stuff and i know i wasn't the only person who was gonna have their friends or associates or whatever sit and watch it because they might not have had the coin at that moment to pay for that subscription so i was like i told the person i was like you know what um i'm gonna post the zoom link and if you want to join and hop in uh hop in and we can watch it together um but like i said the stream never started so the zoom link was posted people came in at first it wasn't that many of us uh so we all really just started talking about everything that was happening so it really just kind of turned into a podcast situation like where we just discussed everything that has transpired in these last couple days in regards to tamisha and monet and vixen and bob we ended up uh listening to the stereo with bob i mean with uh, monet and lady bunny I think there was some stuff where we ended up watching a little bit of Bob um, and we just was really just sitting there just talking and just cultivating relationships and stuff like that over this one experience. We get an update because I'm still checking the website to see like and I'm letting everybody know like hey I'm looking to see if it's going live. At this point there's people that's coming into my live that are like hey I paid but I don't see anything has it started for y'all because um at this point my tweet is starting to catch a little traction so people are like hey like I'm literally seeing tweets people are like hey if you can't get on um 
apparently they, they've got it going on over here but they got in my live and they saw that we were in the same predicament we could not see anything um a lot of the people that came in we all had subscriptions but we couldn't watch because there was no live going on so that was went on for an hour about right before that hour was over there was a website update on the website the time moved up an hour so now it was scheduled for uh 905 my time 1005 eastern time so we were like okay um y'all we're gonna get off and we'll try to come back and we'll all see if it's streaming or not so time goes by we're waiting um and i hop back in the zoo i'm like okay y'all it's time i don't know if we're gonna see it or not but let's go through and check once again and i'm gonna keep reiterating this a lot of the people that were coming into my stuff were literally coming to see if it was gonna go live we most of us had our own separate subscriptions so in reality we all already paid for it we were just watching it together as a group now i can't sit here and say that there weren't people that probably did not pay for it that came in there but i mean that's what can that, i mean that's gonna come even if i didn't do it people that did not pay for it were gonna get access to it either way so 905 came nothing happened um about 15 minutes into us sitting on that zoom link there was another update and it stated now the conversation went from an hour to 15 minutes number one how did we go from having a conversation where we just paid oh so yes in the midst of all of this because i was about to say that in the midst of all of this we were discussing stuff and if i have um recordings from when we were talking i'll put it in here um somebody had mentioned that it wasn't eight dollars a month for three it wasn't eight dollars and 25.99 was the complete total for three months you were paying 25.99 for may june and july and this what i'm saying right here is actually factual you can go on the website if you have a membership and you can see where it tells you you've been charged 25.99 for this month and your next charge will be coming out on uh like the 8th or something of june and there was no cancel button so you couldn't cancel it even though it stated that you could previously bill gave the benefit of the doubt with that when that was not something that was even given or explained to us anywhere on the website that was not a fair thing to tie people into but I still was like, you know what, y'all, I watched Tanisha's virtual drag battle. She told us that starting in June or July, there will be tryouts and uh, then there will be, it will be streamed on her platform. And so I was going to watch it anyway. So y'all, if I got, if she got $75, I like her. I already wanted to be subscribed. So if $70 ends up coming out within these next three months, it's fine. Money's not an issue. I am rich, 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 you rich, know rich, rich. Cash money. Bling. Big time. I was running to the bank. Ching, ching. $75 and I still can't get the content that I paid for. So I believe we get another update of time. And now it is supposed to be at 10.05. I end the Zoom at some point in here. But... I believe I was talking to somebody on uh, Twitter. I might put this in here. And I basically just said, like, girl, you know what? I'm just going to start the Zoom back up. Even if we have the live or we don't have the live, if she gets on or not, let's get back in here. Because by this time, I have gotten, like, all of these followers on Twitter. Like, my stuff went, like, up to, like, 350. I know people are probably like, girl, that ain't nothing. But, like... Like I said, I wasn't active on Twitter like that, but for this kind of stuff. So I got all these followers on Twitter now. I done met all these people. We done sat and just talked about all kind of stuff at this point. Like, so I really at that point was like, I don't want to end the night with nothing. Let's get back in here and just talk and just have a good time. So that's what we ended up doing. Um, we ended up getting back on there. I would still periodically just check to see if anything was happening on the website um if anything was live people were coming in asking like still asking like is it live we really just were it ended up sitting in there and it was probably like 300 it ended up growing to like 
300 people total, maybe more than that, that were like just there at this point to see if anything was going to happen at all and just be a part of this moment of community within the fandom. There was no negativity, really. There was no like arguing amongst one another about who we feel is right or wrong. Like everybody just got to speak, say what they wanted to say. People will put whatever they wanted in the chat, but it was really just a positive experience overall. I got so much support from people just for like kind of bringing the community together when that really, I was just trying to have a good time and maybe have a couple people that I could laugh about what was happening with. I, I didn't expect any of what came. I didn't expect for people to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I didn't expect for people to be saying in the midst of us waiting for four hours to say, you know, you should start a podcast and do this and have these discussions. Like I met people like, People were thinking that the people that I was in there talking to, because everybody wasn't talking, but there was a, a couple of us that were just um, commentating and they thought we were friends. I'm like, I don't even know any of these people. Like we just connected over this one moment. So, I mean, people can probably feel like, oh, you did this and this and that. I gained something from this that I will never forget. <laughs> So um, I'm still periodically checking to see if anything pops up. Um, I'll put some stuff up here to show other people's tweets. That I uh, have that I saw or commented on that we're all sitting here like we don't see anything. There's nothing available. Um, and then there's this one thing that pops up and it's a new RSVP link for the Candy and Tamisha conversation. I registered for that um, and I'm telling them like, okay, y'all, I see this thing. I put in my info, so we'll see what happens. We continue to talk um, and at some point I got an email and the email, it was um, like telling me it's about to start and it gave me a link to join the video so this is the email and then when you click the link it following page so i couldn't see anything so i click the link um and i'm sharing my screen at this point to show everybody uh especially because people are like hey i'm i just got the same thing as you but i can't see it do you see it so i'm like okay let me share my screen and we'll see what happens and they clicked on one place and saw that it was live. So they clicked there, um, but they couldn't see anything. So I did the same thing that they said to see if I could see anything, but I couldn't. And so what ended up happening next was that when I clicked to where it shows that it has like a live bar and there's like a, a video, like a video screen, like if you were watching a YouTube video or something, um, when you click to play, there's a play button and there's a money symbol. And so I clicked the pay, the play button because I already paid. So I clicked the play button, but I couldn't see anything. At the top, it says subscribe $25.99. So I clicked just to see what that meant. Um, and I was logging in and out at this time just to see if, you know, maybe I needed to refresh and all that kind of stuff. I was doing all of that. I clicked on that $25.99 subscribe thing and it wanted me to put my bank account information back in. I did not do that because to me that meant that that, that I would be paying $50 at this point to watch it. And I can show the proof of that where people stated that they were charged twice. Um, and I believe that the people that were charged twice are the only ones that actually got to see it. Um, but so we still could not see anything. Um, none of us that paid could see anything that were in the Zoom at this time. So yeah, we just, we're still in there having a good old time talking. Um, 
finally at some point somebody goes oh my gosh y'all i can see it at this point it already started but um you know we missed like a, a, the beginning part of it so we, like we, would, we were really in there just talking um so somebody was like oh my gosh i can finally see it so it's like so we always like oh my gosh oh my gosh share it share it share it because we can't see it so share it so they start sharing it and so um we're watching and you know it's just tamisha and candy it's not anything about monet like it was initially supposed to be so we did not get that content at all like i said earlier i don't feel like the energy that she had when she came and told candy to come was the energy that, energy that she was portraying in this video it was giving very much do you hate me do i hate you how much are you being paid what's your favorite color like it, that's that's what it was and i mean but we still were just in there watching i mean and like some people were saying you know at least they're not going in on each other you know so that's always a, a positive thing so we're all just sitting here just looking and seeing what is happening and ultimately coming to a conclusion that you know two people have moved past their differences and everything is okay now um and then it stops and the the thing about it is i'll probably put the tweet somewhere where somebody even said it but it stops and um she was in the middle of talking about being an adult and being grown and things of that nature and she stops and everybody's like what's happening what's happening and i guess somebody tells her that there is um a stream going on of the live <laughs> And so this stream happened to be the one that I had, that I was in, that I made. Um, and so she decides to say my name, which I mean, people was like gags and stuff like that. But I mean, my Zoom ac account had my name on it. So that, that did not phase me. My name was on my Zoom account. Um, uh, so she saw that. I guess that, so this is where I believe it came from. There was a Reddit post, which I'm not on Reddit for real, so I don't really know what all goes on on Reddit, but I got a screen grab of somebody watching our our Zoom link, and uh, you could see my name as host, but here's where intelligence kicks in in the first place. You don't, you don't make a grand proclamation on your platform as if you are making a point or making an example unless you actually know what you're talking about because if you actually see the screen grab which i believe somebody is um i think it, it unfortunately got taken down but i have no reason to lie because i'm here and i've already said that i was going to stream it i just couldn't watch it so there was a um screen grab you could see my name but you could also see the name of who was actually streaming it because if you look very closely, you can see the green button where it says that that person is sharing their screen. I have, I can put my footage in right now at some point where you can see that even in the midst of this conversation going on, Yasmin Jackson could not watch on your website. So she said, oh, you kick her out of here um, and block her from the stream and you're going to be fined $1,000. Well, you can't actually do that because I was never in the stream to watch. I was never in the stream to watch it. I was never given access to watch it in the first place. So I can only imagine the scramble of trying to figure out who Yasmin is on Tamisha Iman's website in the live right now because she wasn't there. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> She being me, I was not there. I could not access it. I couldn't watch it. I couldn't see it. I was gonna have to pay another $25 if I wanted to see it. So I wasn't even in it. I was doing at that point what all of us other paid customers did, which was go and sit with the one person who was able to access it because they paid twice. And that was, that's mainly the biggest thing that's to get out here is because 
at least here's the thing this and this is where my issue lied i didn't care about you saying my name at all i didn't care about any of the publicity because in all honesty the publicity that came was not bad publicity it was people supporting me and thinking that what you did was not only hypocritical but just wrong within itself especially when what the point of all of it was was really to just have a good time with people and also help people that weren't able to access the content you put out i like out of the 300 people um that were watching i can say with a one percent doubt that half of those people paid and could not access it and i'm in that half so we couldn't even access what you put out and yet you felt like you wanted to go on a tangent to make an example when in reality you you're wrong and that's th there's nothing even more to it because you're wrong because i didn't stream it from your from my account on your platform because i couldn't watch it even though i paid for it i could not watch it <laughs> and honestly what i will say is that i would i would have went and did the exact same thing that anybody else would have done if i paid my money and i couldn't see it and somebody else was able to see it i would have done the exact same thing that everybody else did which is what i did anyway and went and sat and watched it because i paid for it and you did not deliver what you told me you were going to deliver so people can talk about not supporting queens and pirating and stuff like that but at the end of the day we sat up there and spent our coin and couldn't even get what we came for and honestly i wasn't that's not even the biggest thing and i told them this on my live after that i didn't shake in my boots i wasn't like oh my god my heart wasn't beating fast nothing like that um the only thing i could tell them that i was feeling right then because people was like oh my gosh yes da, 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 da. i was just like i'm mostly disappointed because the way you just handled that is not the way that um it's not the way that you basically present yourself as handling situations but honestly in hindsight it is because that's exactly what this person has portrayed and i just was trying to give the benefit of the doubt so i shouldn't even be disappointed that th that you would handle it that way because that's what you do but at the end of the day i was a supporter who honestly brought a bunch of other supporters together that could not access the content but still wanted to support you like people didn't go and come in there and say i'm disputing my charge i'm doing this people came in and said i can't watch it if you can get it on we're gonna watch it in here that's exactly what was happening uh, that night and so to try to blast me because people were saying i was like she doxed me or, or whatever and stuff like that child please but to even just do that to somebody who actually was trying to support you and put this on just to even see you in a good light the whole time in those conversations i defended uh tamisha iman and who i felt they were as a person and a drag queen the entire conversation like i said it wasn't negative but people still felt like you know they had their opinions on who this person is and i continue to stand by mine and you know just say that this person is not uh, this big bad bully that everybody's making them seem like but you put a fan in a tough position after that by taking the route that you decided to take and so she's doing all of that um they can't kick me out because i'm not in it um but at this point i start getting outpouring love like just so much love from people just like because nobody thought that that would even be a situation um and i wasn't the i wasn't the only person that uh had basically a watch party i wasn't he ended up i just was like cut cut it cut the cameras dead ass just cut it and we just started talking about everything stuff similar to what i'm saying now 
And then we started getting screenshots of the comment section on her page. I paid, I couldn't watch it. I got charged twice. I never got to see it. Will we be able to see it? And then you start seeing the response to that stuff. You're a lie. Somebody said they got charged twice and she told them, and I'll put it here if I still have it, she told them they was lying. Nobody has to lie on you. And my biggest thing was like, I understand, especially um, if what Bussy Queen put out about the contract is completely 100% true, which we know that a lot of it most likely is. Um, I understand that the frustration of not having total control of your platform. I understand that you probably feel like you have been put into a situation where what you thought you were getting from this platform has basically been taken away for the next six years or so. Um, I get that. I understand it completely. I understand the frustration that it comes along with that. And when you add that frustration and then the stuff that might not necessarily irk you all the time, like the comments or other queens comments on you, you know, when you add what the show is putting you through and then you put that all together, I understand the frustration and how it can feel like you might be, you know, having a, a meltdown of some sort and I think she said something along those lines in the the live itself I can I totally can get that I can understand getting into this technology and trying to put out something for your fans and stuff not might may not go right you might not have the help that you need you might be doing a lot of this stuff on your own I can understand all of that but what I can get behind is when I'm taking myself out of it at this point. You mad at me? Go ahead, be mad at me. But I can't get past you telling people who paid and who spent their time, several hours waiting for you and still could not see the content and might have gotten charged twice and you dismiss that as if they're lying to you and they're haters and they're the gremlins and the pen pals and all of that stuff that all of that that came after the call out thing it just kind of shifted my complete perspective of who I was supporting um and that was the disappointing part of the entire thing I told them I love pageant queens I love that old school style of drag like because it's just the essentials to me. And I that's the kind of stuff I like. I told them, like, I love the queens that have the Diana Ross aesthetic, the Diane Carroll, the Dorothy Dandridge, the Cher. I love that. That's why I love RuPaul. So there was no hate in my heart to put any of this out. There was nothing negative in me in going into any of this. And so to now have my complete viewpoint change, I, I'm, I'm right, I have the right to feel what I feel. Um, I felt like if you were grown, like you said you were grown, because you want to address me as a little girl, I'm, I'm a grown woman too. I, I don't care about none of that other nonsense, I'm grown too. And what I can do is have an adult conversation. That's why I can say in the beginning, I did not read that, that part of, um, the agreement i did not see it i just put my card info in and signed up i did not see the beginning of your live where you stated don't share it you guys because i could not get in i'm grown enough to say that there were parts of this that i can own that i didn't have my stuff in order in order to make sure that i was doing right by you as a fan but what you did you did not do right by your fans in that moment and even though you sent the email out 24 hours later with your apology, those apologies still had a hint of, I'm right, and if you can prove I'm wrong, then we can talk. Instead of actually saying, hey, you guys, I'm sorry 
for all of the confusion around what is going on. You couldn't even put a statement out to let us know, hey, the time has changed. Hey, I'm having some technical difficulties. Your first thing that you said to us when you finally went live was you were waiting on us. We're waiting on you guys, Candy and I. So if you have already purchased. When we have been waiting on you for several hours at this point and spent our money and still could not get in. That's where the problems are. It's the problems with how you treated people who actually were your fan. And that is what I can't, I could not get over. So people saying, oh, she put her on blast and yeah, get her and this and this and that. Get what? Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to say Tamisha Iman's platform is just going to fall down, but it's going to take a hit. Because you didn't just affect me. You affected a bunch of people. And they feel the exact same way that I do. In regards to wanting to support you. And wanting to, you know, breathe life into this platform. And, you know, just have your back. And this is how we get treated. Like I said, I couldn't access the live. I couldn't watch the live from my account that I paid for. I couldn't do anything. My hands were tied in that situation. But you dismissed those claims by the other people as if it wasn't true. So you apolog she apologized through email. Um, like I said, I don't feel like it was co a completely genuine apology because there was still just some wording in the, in the emails that I felt like was wrong. Well, not wrong. That just felt like was a little disingenuous. Um, and then after that, you sent the link to your video to your whole mailing list. And not only that, you posted the video on YouTube. I normally, you know, I'm really not even this type of advocate, but all publicity is not good publicity. And for you to call yourself a businessman or a businesswoman, this is not how you handle business. Honestly, the crazy part about it is because I liked you so much, there was stuff I honestly would have not minded helping and being a part of your team to do. I'm a graphic designer. I could help and put that website in a space where people would come on that website and be like, oh, Tamisha Iman got it. She's on point with her stuff. I could easily cut like, but you, you'd rather even just attack the people that actually have love for you. And it's because you're so, you got this tunnel vision where her vision is like, it's so clouded by the negativity that she can't even decipher what, what is hate and what is actually support. Cares, but has concerns. So, you know, it's, the video's on YouTube now. Anybody can see it for free. Um, people were saying, uh, she got, she got y'all, um, y'all ones that y'all, y'all could put it out there for everybody to see, look at how she got y'all back. But in reality, you're talking about people that paid for it and joined a call where none of us could see it. And maybe one or two people had access. I'm sorry if people feel like, oh, you shouldn't have did that, but we couldn't see it. We couldn't see anything. And to put it out 24 hours later, um, you for you to put it out on YouTube, feel like the people who are now watching it for free are your true supporters, which I'm not saying that people aren't, but for you to act like those people are your main and true supporters, but the people who paid for it, couldn't access it, commented that they couldn't access it, came or went to somebody's watch party to access it are not fans uh, that that doesn't make sense to me it just doesn't um you ended up sending the the information out to so many different people 24 hours later um even if it wasn't this situation that would still be an unfair thing to do 
because people spent their money. I spent my money. Other people spent their money. Other people got double charged. So it just all around was a messy, 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 messy situation. Like I can't even figure out another word. Messy. That's what it was. Um, but you know, like I said, I'm not here to make anybody feel like, oh, don't support Tamishima and don't do this, don't do that. Because that's, I mean, this is just my, this is just my experience and I'm just going to operate how I feel moving forward. Um, I hope that Tamisha figures everything out and has an abundant, you know, career after RuPaul's Drag Race. I think that just wanting to provide the platform for all of those black queens and other queens who have kind of been ostracized from the Ru girls as a whole is a very important thing. I was in total agreement with all of those things, you know, so I hope that the the things that they want to do can come to fruition, but I hope that it doesn't come in the way that it's going now. I I feel like, and these are just my opinions, but I believe that this person lacks self-awareness. And so when you lack self-awareness, it's impossible for you to have self-accountability. And I think that that's the struggle that's going on right now is taking accountability, not 24 hours later, not days after, but when it happens. Um, and so I think that's just something that needs to be thought about and worked on in the future because at the end of the day, even if what happened with me had not have happened, people would still feel what they're feeling when they were fans. People would still be hurt or feel played or feel like they were taken advantage of um, because of how things were handled. And that's not how you build a brand. That's not how you build a platform. It's just not how you go about it. And, you know, I see it all the time in just other industries where people feel like, because you have this pocket of people who despite whatever you do is always gonna come around that that's enough but at the end of the day if you want to keep moving and keep making progress and keep getting bigger and bigger you've got to make adjustments and you've got to look at what it is that you're doing to see why you're getting those bad reviews because i would never want to have a bad review on my hands like and lose a potential customer because of things I could have changed. Um, so, you know, that is the story. Um, I explained my side of it. If Tamisha decides to watch this video, fine. If she doesn't, that's also fine. Um, I thank everybody who has supported me throughout all of this craziness I did not expect this. this is literally something new um but I appreciate all of the love because that's really what kept me attached to RuPaul's Drag Race and learning about this community of people in the first place it's always been the love and acceptance I guess that comes from this community I know that there's certain things that you know, everything's not just peaches and cream, but there was a love that I got throughout this that was just like, wow. <laughs> like, so I can't, I can't sit here and be angry. Like, I haven't been angry throughout this whole thing because I got people like, I'm like, people like, oh my God, I'm a fan now. I'm like, child, fans, huh? like what i'm just a regular old girl from missouri like and you saying that you love me and stuff like that like it's it's an amazing feeling i didn't know it was gonna happen to me but we're not i, I don't even want to call people my fans like we're not you're not my fan you're my family at this point like i made a tweet and i was like you know i've never had a 
group of friends that I could talk to about drag race. So to have that at this point, to have a discord where we're talking about all the stuff that has to do with drag, um, it's amazing. Like people at the end of the night, they're like, this is the house of yes. So like I'm the, the, the mother of the house of yes. <laughs> like I got children like it, it has turned into something that I completely welcome and open with open arms like I don't you know I just I cannot complain about anything so it's amazing um one thing I will say is that if Tamisha well I don't even want to say if clearly you were hurt that somebody um streamed your content and although i was not the person that streamed it i can still say that i apologize for you feeling like your trust was broken with a fan or a subscriber because of the zoom itself i apologize for you feeling that way i don't expect anything from you to say to me but if you want to you most you you're more than welcome to, but I will always validate your feelings because that's just something that I stand by and I would never want nobody to invalidate mine. So for that, I apologize for hurting you in that aspect. Um, and that really is all that I have to say on this situation. There is going to be a podcast coming soon where I will talk all things Drag Race. I will also discuss um, things like uh, Pose is almost over, but I still might have some commentary for the remaining episodes. Legendary just started. I asked um, on my Instagram if people wanted that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Yasmin Yael. I'll put it down here somewhere so you can see the polls and know about what's coming up. I welcome anybody that wants to come up to talk, to talk. Because it's not just going to be me sitting in the camera all the time. I want the commentary I had this week again. And I want that to be a continuing thing. So I'll be posting stuff there to see what people want to see. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Like the video. If you have anything negative to say... I honestly could care less because I did nothing in this video but tell the honest to God truth and share my experience. So if you do want to say something negative, go ahead. I'm, I, I could care less. But um, that's really it. Thank you all for sitting through this. I know it's a long video, but, you know, it was a long situation. This is my first YouTube video. I hope it, you know, I hope people just enjoy it. And I look forward to seeing whoever this video comes across on the next one. So thank you guys. Bye.